Hi guys, it's Sophia Bay, and I'm back here with another video. This video is how I grow my hair using bot sprays. As you can see, I've had these braids in my head for exactly two weeks and one day. You can see my hair has grown quite a bit. on this side as you can see we got a lot of new growth the hair is really dirty if you can't tell yeah it's pretty dirty it's not that bad but it's pretty dirty and you can see that's a lot of new growth right there. So as you can see, I got about half an inch to about an inch of growth in two weeks. I'm gonna show you guys how I made that happen. First tip I have for you guys, also the most important tip, is to oil your hair every day. I usually do mine every night, but sometimes I wake up in the morning and oil my hair. If it's feeling a little itchy, I oil it a lot more when I first get my braids done because that's when it tends to be uh, the most irritated. And I don't usually keep my box braids in for long because I really don't do a lot of maintenance. Really, I don't do too much with it. You want to keep it low maintenance, and that's how you're going to see the best results. So this is the oil that I am currently using for this set of box sprays. This is the oil that I've been using for the past two weeks. It is the Do Grow Mega Thick Formula Hair Oil, and I like it because it comes with that tip, so you can really get like in between the braids. So like I said, I do this every night sometimes twice a day usually when I first start getting box braids and um, you want to do this before you go to sleep every night don't wash it because you don't want to create a lot of friction and frizz when you do have your box braids so I don't wash my hair I don't um, really get it wet at all when I'm in the shower I'm wearing like a large shower cap or I'm just tying it up real tight so it doesn't move but I do not wash my hair I I don't put any leave-in conditioner in it because you want to avoid product buildup so that means you don't want to clog your hair follicles with all that leave-in conditioner because it's not gonna have nowhere to go if you clog your hair follicles it's gonna slow down your hair growth so you want to get yourself a good oil if I'm not using this oil I'm going to be using this oil now this is a homemade blend of olive oil and grapeseed oils but what I like about this is this spray bottle um, obviously this is a bottle that I just had uh, laying around but you know if you ever tried this where this bottle is from this is also a good oil too it's a mix between shea butter jojoba oil and aloe and um, yeah this is actually really good <laughs> before I ran out and end up saving the bottle but if you could see it's like a spray bottle with a lighter oil it's more like a mist but with a heavier oil like a grapeseed and olive oil it's going to really saturate the hair so I'll go in with this oil on my roots or on the parts like this and then go back and spray it with my homemade oil kind of like in the back and um, along the edges so those two are the only products that I put in my hair all I do is oil it up it also helps with uh, irritation if you have a sensitive scalp like I do um, once you get braids your scalp starts to get irritated you get those red bumps that usually happen in the back or like around your hairline and and this will also help you out with that too next tip and the last tip is you want to wrap your hair when you're sleeping uh, you should wrap your hair anyways to protect your hair while you sleep you could also use like a satin pillowcase that could also help too what I use is this 
extra large bonnet. It's good for box braids or like bigger hairstyles. Um, usually I just use it for braids, but, but you want to wrap your hair up every night that you sleep. So usually my nighttime routine would be putting the oil in my hair then wrapping it up and going to sleep. It's real easy, real simple. If you wanna grow your hair using box braids, it's a real simple process. You don't wanna to use too many products and you don't wanna use heavy products. A light oil is pretty much all you need. Because I have a sensitive scalp, I like to use the heavier oils kinda of like in the back and around the hairline. So if you have a normal or a normal to oily scalp, you wanna stay with the lighter oils like the Do Girl Oil. If you have a dry scalp like me with sensitive skin, you wanna use a heavier oil, but that's really it. You know, I've been doing this method for a long time, and as you can see, I've gotten great results with only two weeks. Uh, that's all you need, that's pretty much it. You wanna wrap your hair up at night, avoiding that friction. That's really what it is because you know, when you're wearing braids, especially when you're doing like a rubber band method, uh, that can cause a lot of breakage in your hair if you're being a little bit too rough with it. So you want to use the oils to kind of loosen up the follicles and protect it. That's what's happening. We're using a protective style to protect our hair.